Hi there. I'm Dr. Chris Moore, and I'm the program lead for the undergraduate degree in biomedical science at UE Bristol. And I'm going to be talking through the idea of accreditation within biomedical science. Now, UE Bristol has a long-standing relationship with the IBMS, that is the Institute of Biomedical Science. It is this professional body that accredits degree programs for those universities that wish to have a degree where their graduates can move on to a role as a state registered biomedical scientist in the NHS working in a UK pathology laboratory. Now the IBMS itself works with the HCPC, the Healthcare Professions Council. This is the council responsible for regulating uh, those healthcare professions, many of which you'll be familiar with in the UK such as occupational therapists, physiotherapists, dietitians, and so on. The one, of course, that we're concerned with today is biomedical science. So the IBMS is the professional body that regulates how we structure our degree and ensures that the skills and competencies that we teach meet the requirements for working in the NHS. So, of course, in order to work as a biomedical scientist, you need the degree, but you also need to complete an IBMS training portfolio at an NHS laboratory approved by the IBMS in order to carry out that kind of competency training. Now the portfolio of course is done in the NHS. The degree is done at UWE. So how do we go about putting the two together and how does UWE help you with this? Well, in the course of looking to apply for an NHS Band 5 job, you complete three years of undergraduate study, you get the degree, and then you do an IBMS training portfolio. You do, of course, have the option within the UE accredited course to complete that training portfolio between the second and third year of undergraduate study by undertaking a sandwich placement at an IBMS approved NHS training laboratory. Sometimes these will be offered on an application basis with partners that we have in the local region. Other times you'll be encouraged to seek them out for yourselves. You don't have to do it this way. You don't have to do a sandwich placement at all. And of course, you don't need to complete an IBMS training portfolio either during or after your degree if you don't intend to work in the NHS. But the option is there. It is strongly encouraged to take a sandwich year placement and of course, if you want to work in the NHS, you'll need to have those two things in place at some point. And so sometimes it's just a good idea to get it done during your undergraduate degree. The benefit there being that you graduate as an accredited biomedical scientist, as opposed to seeking that accreditation and state registration afterwards. It is important to consider, though, that no matter what career path you take, completing a degree in biomedical science at UE Bristol means that you have a degree that has been approved and validated and almost given a badge by a very important and well-respected external professional organization. That's not something that we can say about every degree called biomedical science in the UK. If, however, you have taken your degree elsewhere or you've taken a degree that isn't accredited but is called biomedical science, you can still work in the NHS provided you undertake what are called top-up modules. Top-up modules are those modules on accredited or IBMS approved degree programs that students that graduated elsewhere or on other relevant degrees at UWE can undertake as extra modules in order to meet their requirements. Now for those students that are on the UE accredited biomedical degree anyway, there are a number of compulsory modules that you have to undertake and pass in order to complete the degree. At level one, this is all four modules, uh, totaling 120 credits. At level two, you have to take a 15 credit module in molecular cell biology, a 15 credit module in applied scientific practice, and a 30 credit module in studies in the biology of disease that consists of the six core IBMS disciplines. At level three, you then need to undertake a research project for 30 credits, and you need to take a minimum of at least one of the 30 credit specialist IBMS core discipline modules. These six modules cover medical genetics, medical microbiology, clinical biochemistry, applied immunology, hematology and transfusion, and cellular pathology and oncology. Now, if you are a student that has done their degree elsewhere and is coming to UE to take top-up modules, it is usual for you to have to take studies in the biology disease at level two 
and one of the core level three modules. If you have done your degree elsewhere, you'll need to go through a degree assessment with the IBMS and they will provide you with a sheet much like this one. And it will contain a series of accreditation requirements and they will look at your previous degree and they will determine whether you have an acceptable uh, level of knowledge in that area or whether there is an area that you require. If there is one that you require, that's when you're going to need to come to us and take one of these top-up modules. If, of course, you're already doing your degree here, you've covered all those bases, and therefore the only difference is, if you don't, you've still got a degree that is badged by a highly respected authority. I hope that makes sense to you. See you next time.